Hey everyone, it's B Divine. So this is part two. If you chose number two and you're in or an established relationship, this is some messages for you. And uh, of course, it's just in general, right? If you want something deeper, then I'm sure you know where I am by now. So what I'm going to do is find the lover's card, okay? And what's before it and what's after it. Uh, going to give us messages and uh, I am looking as quickly as I can for the lover's uh, card. And I'm using the Tarot of Nefertari, which are Egyptian tarot, and I love them. I'm going to get to the end. Okay, so it's been a long journey for you guys, huh? All right, uh, here we go. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so this is the lover's card. This is the card after it. This is the card before it. And I said, so it's been a long journey for you guys. Um, there's the chariot. There's the lover and the nine of coins. Okay, so what this indicates to me is exactly what I was kind of just saying is that, you know, it seems to me that you've been through a lot of up and downs and there's been a situation where there needed to be an extremely clear focus of the where you're going and, and working together. So there had to be something where, okay, you made a decision that you were going to stick together no matter what and be able to put the two minds as one to work together and it works so much better than both of you um you know having opposing views all the time and just deciding that you're worth growing together and what this does uh, with the lover energy bringing you into the nine of coins it helps you to generate uh, abundance it helps you to be able to manifest when uh, you are putting both of your heads together and working on things together this may be your own business this may be uh, just the lifestyle that you're living or the interests that you have and doing more of the things that bring you a lot of um, fun and who cares what anybody thinks I think one of the biggest things here that I'm sensing is that there were situations where people were calling on you or you know making you feel sorry for them or you had to deal with things or you have to drop everything to go and call this person or that person and all that seems to have stopped because what happens is when we go through you know worldwide events like this is you kind of learn who your friends are and who they're really not and something that you both have learned is to come together in a crisis and put your heads together and make something out of it this will always bring you the the blessing blessings that you're looking for. If you're not working together on something right now, this is going to help you to overcome any problems that you may be going through. And this is just one level of a reading. Okay, so hopefully